Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is Surge and Indices. So let's get started. The given question is, given that x is equal to 10 power 0.48 and y is equal to 10 power 0 0.70 and x power z is equal to y square, then the value of z is close to. So let's use the value that they have given here. So x is equal to 10 power 0.48 and y is equal to 10 power 0.70. So, with this equation, let us find the value of z. x power z is equal to y square. So, let us substitute whatever the values we know. x is equal to 10 power 0 0.48. So, 10 power 0 0.48 into z. z is given here, which is equal to y is equal to 10 power 0 0.70, which is 10 power 0 0.70 into 2. So, 10 power 0 0.48 into z is equal to 10 power 0 0.70. As these two values are equal, we can equate them directly. So, 0 0.48 into z is equal to 0 0.70 into 2. Sound 2s are 14, so 1.4. So, 0 0.48 into z is equal to 1.4, which can be written as z is equal to 1.4 divided by 0 0.48. 140 divided by 48, which is nothing but 2.9 approximately. So, the value of z is close to 2.9. So, what did we do here? So, we took the equation that they have given in the question, substituted the value as the base are equal, we equated this 0.48 into z is equal to 0.70 into 2, then you can easily find the value of z. Let us go to another question. So, the next question that they have given is 1 divided by 1 plus x power b minus a plus x power c minus a plus 1 divided by 1 plus x power a minus b plus x power c minus b plus 1 divided by 1 plus x power b minus c plus x power a minus c is equal to what? So, let us start solving it. So, this can be rewritten as 1 by 1 plus x power b by x power a plus all these values can be rewritten in the same way. So, x power c by x power a plus 1 by x power a by x power b plus x power c by x power b plus 1 divided by x plus x power b by x power c plus x power a by x power c. Okay, this equation can be rewritten as x power a plus x power b plus x power c divided by x power a. So, this can be rewritten as x power a divided by x power a plus x power b plus x power c plus similarly x power b will be taken in the numerator. So, x power b divided by x power b plus x power a plus x power c plus similarly x power c will be taken in the numerator. So, x power c divided by x power c plus x power b plus x power a. So, we have a common denominator. So, which can be rewritten as x power a plus x power b plus x power c. As they have a common denominator, these can be added. So, x power a plus x power b plus x power c which can be cancelled and becomes 1. So, the whole equation's value is nothing but 1. Let us all have another sum. So, the next question they have given is 5 power a is equal to 3 1 2 5. Then what is the value of 5 power a minus 3? So, they are given 5 power a is equal to 3 1 2 5. We know that 5 power 5 is nothing but 3 power 3 1 2 5. So, 5 power a is equal to 5 power 5 and a is equal to 5. So, now we know the value of a. As, what they have asked, they asked to find the value of 5 power a minus 3. So, pi power, what is the a value? 5 minus 3, so nothing but 5 square, 25. It is a very simple sum. So, generally in these kind of sums, mostly this number will be the base and the power of thing will be varied. So, if you could find the power in which it has fallen, you can easily find the value of a and then the finding the value of the second part of the question will be easy. Let us go to the next sum. So, the next question is 243 to the power n by 5 into 3 power 2n plus 1 divided by 9 power n into 3n minus 1 is equal to what? So, let us start solving. So, we know that 243 is nothing but 3 power 5. So, 3 power 5 into n by 5 into 3 power 2n plus 1. So, 9 can be rewritten as 3 power 2 which is into n into 3 power n minus 1. 
so 5 5 gets cancelled so we have the same base so it becomes n plus 2n plus 1 similarly we have the same base so 3 power 2n plus n minus 1 so which becomes 3 power 3n plus 1 divided by 3 power 3n minus 1 so we know that they are in a division position so which we can be written as 3 power 3n plus 1 minus of 3 power 3n minus 1 so this can be solved as 3 power 3n plus 1 minus 3n plus 1 so 3 and 3 and get cancelled it become 3 square which is nothing but 9 so this whole term can be solved and we got the value of 9 basically in search and indices it is nothing but about your simplification technique so the value that we got in the question is very huge but the answer that we got is in a very simplified version you can see the various ways in which you can find the powers and the various ways in which you can cancel it to find to the nearest smallest term that you can find it in your options if you are a person who is looking for a job kindly register on our freshersworld.com like this video subscribe to our channel thank you <music>